Well, the Coast Guard Admiral overseeing the latest attempt to cap the Gulf oil leak says it could be three days now before we learn if a new effort by BP can stop the flow of oil. That comes after reports that the oil company did not tell the White House right away when it decided to put a hold on its last efforts to cap the well, a move that reportedly left the White House infuriated. Moments ago, the White House press secretary was talking tough about the lines of communication between BP and the administration. Obviously, any, any action uh, undertaken by P, BP uh, to deal with the well bore and to deal with the well itself uh, requires the sign-off of the federal on-scene coordinator. Mike Gallagher has hosted the Mike Gallagher Show and a Fox News contributor, and Mark Levine is a radio talk show host and a constitutional attorney. Gentlemen, welcome back. All right, so now we see the White House you, in many ways, uh, in, in particular in the rhetoric, rhetoric that we're hearing, cracking down on BP. We heard talk of criminal charges potentially. We heard Robert Gibbs there. Now Major Garrett tells us that no administration officials are going to stand next to BP representatives at any of these press conferences. So, Mike Gallagher, where does that get us? Well, I know that from BP's perspective, uh, it shouldn't be a shock that they're not really anxious to get information to the White House off the, off the bat because uh, this White House has been pointing fingers of blame at BP all along. BP right now is focused on trying to cap the spill. They're not interested in appeasing um, a White House that is trying to, to sort of deal with the political fallout of all of this. I mean, you know, I'm so struck, Megan, by the lack of leadership being offered by the Obama administration over this entire catastrophe. If the, if the federal government wasn't worried about scuttling lawyers to threaten to sue BP before this thing is even finished, perhaps there'd be a greater level of cooperation and everybody could get to the end game, which is to get this spill fixed. I mean, it, it's, it's extraordinary to me that the Obama administration continues to, to, to whine and bellyache and point fingers at BP oh when God. it's doing everything it can to stop this terrible accident from continuing to get any you know, worse. Mark, it's just, it's Mark, it's, it's, it's not just Mike Gallagher who's upset with uh, the White House. It's actually more and more folks from the left. Maureen Dow, uh, no conservative she, in her column in the New York Times, came out and called him. Uh, here's what she says. She says, for five weeks, it looked as though Obama considered the gushing that became the worst oil spill in U.S. history a distraction, like a fire alarm going off in the middle of a law seminar that he was teaching. He'll deal with it, but he's annoyed because it's not on his syllabus. Uh, then we heard James Carville last week. It's, it's coming from both the left and the right. Yeah, but Megan, conservatives can't have it both ways. For decades, they've told us, get government out of regulation, let the corporations police themselves, they're just fine, leave the government regulation out of it. And what do we find? We find when corporations police themselves, they do it very badly, whether it's the oil spill in the Gulf or Wall Street up in New York. Corporations can't be trusted to police themselves. Mike, I hope you've learned that from now, that I mean, corporations listen, Mark, care more a, a about their profits than they do about these air or water pollution or the American people. How about right? it, Mike? Ex ex Excuse me. I mean, a lot of the regulations, it can be argued, is what has put us in the mess we're in because everybody is so terrified to, to do any kind of offshore drilling within a certain proximity of the coast that that's why it's in the middle of, an, of nowhere and it's such a difficult thing to contain. I mean, Mark, what I appreciate what you're What fantasy are you living saying. in, Mike? Do you oh, know what I, happened I'm in the Minerals in the and Mining room. Safety Administration? Do you know what well, happened? Know this was a cesspool of corruption under the Bush administration, literally sex and drugs and gifts you know, and sporting well, events Mark, and job you, you offers. Guys, Mark, to be fair, let me jump in. To, to, to be fair, just to set the record straight, the woman who you know, tendered her resignation or was fired, again, the White House not really clarifying, was hired under yeah. President Obama. Thank you. Elizabeth Birnbaum cannot Obama's be blamed watch. for what happened in throughout the entire Bush administration. Hey, Mark, the Inspector General's Mark, report, which I know you've read, Megan, is from September and October 2008. Mark, it talks guy, about the fact that your, they would literally write on. in prints and pencil what the, the regulation guy, should be, and then the oil companies would write over it in pen. This hey, is not Mark, regulation. You can, okay, go ahead, Mike. You can scream as long as you want, Mark. You cannot escape the fact that this happened on your guy's watch. This is President Obama's responsibility. Responsibility. You can continue to try to distract the American people by blaming George Bush. You got to give it up, Mark. Get, get not a distraction, get over Mike. The, let me ask you this. Show it. Listen, let me ask you this. Get Mark. over Be it. Because you got keep people coming out and saying that this is Obama's Katrina. You've got people saying, it's look, it's Bush's Katrina too. But listen, they've got oh, folks Bush's coming. Katrina, Bush is gone, sure. right? They're not going to blame it on Bush anymore. President Obama's it's in the White House. He, be let, let me finish my question. He himself came out and said that you know the buck stops with me. I'm in charge. I take responsibility. So now that we get reports that 
this thing is nowhere near being stopped, at least from the look of it. And that the, and that the company, the, uh, the, the, the government, I should say, came on Fox News today and said, we can't even guarantee that it's going to be stopped by August. You've got, you know, millions, millions of barrels of oil being pumped into the Gulf. How does this play out, Mark, for President Obama, whether he's to blame or not? How does it play out for him politically now? It's a terrible catastrophe. It's the worst environmental catastrophe in America's history. And I hope from this that people learn that government regulation matters, that we need government regulation. Mm. We can't undo what the Bush administration did. It's true. Bush handed Obama a time bomb. It blew up. And now Obama has got to try to fix it. But the problem is the government Bush. doesn't even have the technology to fix it because they gave it uh -huh. all to British Petroleum because government regulators decided under the Bush hey, administration Megan. that they just didn't want to regulate these corporations. Go ahead, Mike. Megan, can I take a, can I take a crack at your answer? It plays very badly for President Obama if he continues to act like a non leader he is he is missing in action when it comes to leadership leadership does not suggest you dispatch your attorney general to prepare litigation you think lawyers mark are going to solve this this oil spill? I think they're crimes so will here. suing BP now do anything to stop this Put them in jail. His, his leadership is missing he's a catastrophe the Obama administration has been a catastrophe and your side can continue to scream about George Bush all you want this is happening under his watch and he has to own it and he mark has not even Maureen Dow Sees that. Mark, let me ask you this. The, the, the question, though, is that as people see that the government, even by President Obama's admission, they can't solve this. They, you know, the, the, the government doesn't have the facilities at the ready to solve this. Otherwise, it would have by now. As they see that, does it undermine President Obama's greater message, his, his overall approach, that the government should be looked to to solve different problems, social problems, for example, when it comes to health care, when it comes to immigration uh, and other social issues of the day? I think it strengthens it, Megan, and here's why. Republicans, conservatives will tell you all the time, government is not the answer. Let the private industry do it. Leave Wall Street alone, and then they ruin the economy. Leave the oil companies alone, and then they ruin the Gulf. What people are learning is that government regulation is often necessary, and I hope Mike can agree with me. Repeat after me. Government regulation is often necessary. You can't trust the corporations to police themselves. You agree, Mike? <laughs> what I what I disagree strongly you don't, do with you? is you your, see, is what do you your, need your to destroy belief. before you recognize let him, let him repeat after you or, or yeah, say whatever asked, he's going to say and then I got to go. Yeah, you asked the question, Mark. The answer is your side is wrong, whether you want more government, not less. If the government was so all-powerful and, and responsive, why haven't they stopped the leak? Let now the you want the government. Experts, let, let the, Newly let minted the socialists, Mike okay. Gallagher and Bobby Jindal, the, now okay. they want let, the government. You know, we're going to have to create a segment. Sector we're going to have to create a segment online. It's foxnews.com slash America Live <laughs> that just lets you guys continue the debate to, like, the top of the hour. Uh, thank you, Fair gentlemen, enough, as baby. always. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you.